Hey guys, Pokesick29 here. Welcome to episode number 20. In this episode, we are going to learn how to make our own events by making an event that is called Whenever a Player Warps. So, uh, we've reached another milestone. This is the 20th episode, and you guys are getting very good. So we're going to uh, work on some more advanced things now to, to take your plug into the next level and make it unique and professional. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to right-click, and you're going to want to make a class, and we'll call it the Player Warp Event. And now in here, you're going to write Extends Event, and go ahead and import org.bucket.event.event. .event. And then, you're going to want to go to this website, uh, Bucket, it's the Bucket Wiki, and this, will be, this link will be down in the description, and you're going to want to just copy this right here, and come back and paste it in. And then go ahead and import that. And there you go. So now we're going to go up here. And this player warp event will take a player and a location. So that people can get the player and they can get the uh, what location that they're going to. So you're going to type public player warp event player p comma location l and now what and go ahead and uh, import org.bucket.location and now what this means is that whenever this player warp event is called like whenever this event is called you need to give it a player and a location and then right above here you're going to type player p and location l and then you're going to say this dot p equals p and this dot l equals l so we have our two variables right here and then we're setting these variables equal to whatever we're given when the event is called and then we're going to just say public sorry public player get player return p public location get warp location return L. And now, what this will do is, whenever a player warps, this event will be called, and people can, just like we did the, you know, player join event, and in our MOTD plugin, and, you know, all these different things, people can call this event, and then they'll have access to the player and the location, so that they can, you know, do whatever they need to do. So now, the last thing that we need to do is actually call the event. So head back here, and uh, and our warp. So right here, we're going to say location L equals, and then just go ahead and cut that. That'll just make it easier. And then we're going to say P dot teleport L, and then bucket dot get server dot sorry dot get plugin manager dot call event new player warp event and now this is when we're calling it we need to supply it with a player so we're gonna say p because that's the player and l because that's the location and then that's it that's all that needs to be done and so now Let's go ahead and test it. We're going to make a uh, quick class uh, event tester. Okay, and then we'll just say um, implement listener. And then we'll say at event handler public void on player uh, on player warp. And this is going to be our player warp event e and then we are going to say go ahead and import that and then we're going to say bucket dot get server dot broadcast message green plus e dot get player dot get name warped to a location with the and you know what? Let's go ahead and actually add the warp name because there are some times that you might want to 
Like, like you might want to know, like if they warp to a certain location, then you might want to do something. So string n for name, and then this dot n equals n, and then we are going to say public string get warp name return n. And then we have to go back to our teleport, and then we need to add args zero. Because, you know, whatever argument they said was zero, we know that it's correct, so we'll give it that. And then warp to a loop, warped to warp plus e dot get, sorry, e dot get warp name. Exclamation point. So now whenever a player warps, it'll say whatever the name of the player is, warp to warp, and then whatever the name of the warp is. So now let's go ahead and export this, and there's nothing new in the plugin.yml file. So let's go ahead and export this, and then we will head over to our desktop and testing the server. And let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, looking good. Let's go ahead and fire up Minecraft. And yes, it looks like everything is in order. So let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so here we are. And I believe that I already have a warp set. I think it was heal sign. Or I no, I deleted it. Okay. So let's go ahead and just set our warp really quickly. So set oops set warp. Heal sign and okay, so the warp was set. Now let's go over here and do slash warp heal sign. And as you can see, it's odd. Let's see this. Oops. teleported to heal sign, and it looks like it didn't work, but there's no errors here. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, we didn't register the events, which I knew that I was going to forget, but I did anyway. Alright, oops. Dot register events, new event tester and this all right now we have the events registered which i figured that i would forget and now let's head back and we'll head over here and we'll do warp again and as you can see it says pogo stick 29 warped to the warp heel sign so there you go guys that is how to make your own event in your plugin and we made an event that's called whenever a player warps uh as always subscribe if you want to see more comment with what you want to learn and i will see you soon guys bye